All right. So, welcome again to Military Guna TV. I am your host, Maria Dakers. Um, it's good to have you guys um back. So, guys, um, I'm on my road to seven thousand subscribers. Quite close, really, really close. So, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and help me reach that seven thousand mark. Um, definitely, and also smash a like on this video. I would totally appreciate it. Now. I have two things to talk about. Um, one, Javon Watson rumors. Two, um, some stats. Relay some stats to you guys. Speaking about our last 10 games, as you can see from the thumbnail. Now, why do I want to speak about these stats? What relevance does this stat have? Um, no, there's so much mitigating factors in football. And because of these mitigating factors, it... It takes away the whole essence of look deeply into um, deeper issues with the Reggae Boys team. Now, most people um, are likely always throwing the blame on the JFF, the players. That's what most people, most people does. Eh? The players are not good enough. We need to get better players. That's the consistent. That's that 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 is a talk that that is most consistent. Wait until we get better players. That's always the thing. Wait until we get better players. Then when we do get better players and integrate these players into the squad, it's like uh, these players are not these these players that we get are not good enough. Let's revert back to what we had before because those players played with more art, um, heart and uh, uh, and intensity and all those type of stuff. Then why should we go out and get better players? Then if you believe that what we had before is better than what we are trying to get. And if you believe that um, a striker such as Mikel Antonio Ilk is not good enough to be in this regular boy squad, then that means um, you should really rethink how you approach football and how you think about football. Because I see a lot of people are saying that the UK players, um, they didn't perform. They were not good enough. Um, the local players are better. That is the whole issue that's going on right now. A lot of argument between the UK-based reggae boys and the local-based reggae boys. But in all that sense, we should remember that um, we have been playing with the, 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 the local-based reggae boys and we're still getting the same result. And now we integrated um, the UK-based players. We're, we're getting the same result. So there's one common um, denominator for that, and that is aspect um, the old JFF and, and the coaching aspect of it. Now, let me move away from that. And, and get straight into what I want to show. As I said, guys, please remember to smash that like button. I would totally appreciate it if you do so. Now, let's get straight into the meat of the, the man. <laughs> All right. Um, but I want us to stop the argument about which players not which set of players are not good enough, which set of players, this, all those type of arguments. I really think we should stop um, those big clean and all those. I strongly believe we should stop it. So as I said, guys, please remember, smash the like button if you're here this far in the video. And also hit the subscribe button as well whilst you're at it because it's just a move of the thumb and it supports the channel. Um, so Tierra with my last 10 games as coaching the Jamaica national team. Um, let's get straight into it, people. Let us get straight into it. Um, so international friendlies. Um we played against the USA. We lost 4-1. That's when the first set of UK players come in. Um, the, the, the talk was that we cannot just throw in these players and expect to get a good result. And we didn't have the core players. Then now, we played the Serbia team. Um, we didn't have our best team out, out on the pitch. We didn't have the UK players. So that's, a, that's it all. When we played against the USA and lost 4-1, and lost we didn't have the core players. Then we played against Serbia. We didn't have the UK players. Then now we played against the Japan and the 24 team. We got we got thrashed four goals to zero. We had a mixture of UK and um, core players, and we still got a thrashing. And the talk was that um the, the, the Japan and the 24 team, these guys have been playing for years now, and they are well groomed and and well um have that intensity. So so for the, for all three games already, we have three excuses for all three games. So we always have excuses. USA game, UK players just coming in, they, they haven't got their feet on the floor. Um, the Serbia game, a mixture of UK and Jamaican team, but um, the, the team just never did prepare ready because of the traveling issues and all those type of stuff. Then, now the Japan under 24 team, the Japan under 24 team was well coached and all those type of things. So, let's let's move away from that now. Let's move to the next one. So, we enter into the Gold Cup, we got almost two weeks of preparation 
for the Gold Cup campaign. Almost two weeks of preparation for the Gold Cup campaign. Now, this is what happened in the Gold Cup campaign. We played against Suriname. We defeated Suriname for the first game. Yes, everyone will say, okay, yeah, um, we, we, we got the result, individual brilliance, but we didn't play at the best. And I am not the one saying that we didn't play at the best. The coach, Tapa Whitmore himself, said that he was not impressed with the performance. This is not coming from me. This is coming from the coach Whitmore. You can go and watch, rewatch his post-match interview and you see when he say that this was not the best performance despite us getting the result. Good result, but not a good performance. So guys, you guys remember those individual, um, so those sparks of individual moments from the players. No, we played against Guadeloupe. In the, in the next phase of the Gold Cup, we, we won that game two goals to one. Yes, we should remember that we went up a bit early. A deflected goal um, by Amari Bell beating um, Asia Blake at his, um, Andre Blake at his near post. Um, yet again, another game, um, underwhelming, top perf, top players underperforming, likes of Leon Bill, um, Andre Gray and all those guys um, underperforming. Boza missing quite a few chances, but still score. Um, so, Yes, the coach came um, came again and said that it was not a good performance, but it was a good result. And I did do a video saying that how many not good performances will we have? We cannot continue like that. So then, you know, we face off Costa Rica. And I can say this is this game, we had one of our best performances in this game in particular, but we still managed to lose that game. And many of, many of us don't remember that this game, Costa Rica was down to 10 men. A lot of us don't remember that. Costa Rica was down to 10 man and we just couldn't get the result from that um, out of that game. Um, then now we move to the second round of the, the, the Gold Cup, the knockout stage of the Gold Cup campaign, where we face the USA team, a so-called B team, a team that many people say that they didn't have much of their stars, the likes of Christian Pulisic, um, just, just, just Sargent, um, so many players they didn't have. But they dug in, they dug out and got results. And when they faced Jamaica, first half, everyone was loud in the first half. But the only thing that we did in the first half was high press. We still got smashed. We still got smashed. We get high press. We didn't have the ball. We got a few chances. We didn't take them. We still lost that game one goal to zero because after the half, second half, they just they were in cruise control. Now, let's move to <laughs> the World Cup qualifiers where we're in right now. So for every single game, there's an excuse. Every single game, there's an excuse. So um, we played against Mexico. So the big the big idea is that the, 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 we said that. A lot of people are saying that the UK-based players are not good enough. So most of the, 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 the players that went to the Mexico game are, are the local-based um, core players. We still lost. We still um, went there, sit back in a 4-4-2 formation. We still went there, sit back in a 4-4-2 formation. We still went there and sit back in a 4-4-2 formation. And that was the, the end result. 2-1, um, two, two, we lost the game. Didn't perform at our optimum best. We look toothless. Really, really toothless. Then now we play against Panama, where we have more firepower on the, on the field. The likes of Mikel Antonio, Kemaru, Barbary, all of these players. Corey Burke. We had a lot of firepower, firepower in the team. But we still got thrashed by three goals to zero. 4-4-2 um, four, four, formation again. Um, tactical um, prowess, none of that. Um, systematical um, uh, I don't even know what to call it, but we break down in so much different areas and phases of the field, and that was the end result of it. We lost the game three goals to zero. Now, I'm going to show you guys the the, la the last stats um, that I want to um, to bring up to you guys is this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. This is the last stats that I want to bring up to you guys. So, in all those games. In all those games, we won. In all those 10 games, we won two, we drew one, and we lost seven. We scored seven goals and conceded 17 in all those, in all those games. Think about it. We scored seven, and we, and we conceded 17. That is almost triple the amount of goals we scored. We concede almost triple the amount of goals we, con we concede. Yes, people are going to say that um, in that particular game, they did this in that. That is the thing, people. Why is it that we have so much excuses for every single game that we lost? So much excuses for every single game that we lost. Why? I don't seem to understand it. There's always an excuse. But yes, still, on the field decision, on the pitch decision, we can clearly say that 
the manager was out coach the manager the, the coach was also um done tactically in every single one of those games we can definitely say those aspects of the game happened where the coach was out coached by his by by his, his opponents in every one of those games, we can say that the coach was out coached by his opponents, but no one wants to talk about it. So, people, that's it for that aspect of it. Let me go over now to the rumors that are coming out of the Reggae Boys camp at this moment. <laughs> so, the rumors are that um, rumors coming out of the Reggae Boys camp is that Coach Tapoutmore looking to reintegrate Javan Watson, aka Aka, in the national program and will be available for the Costa Rica game. Um, so, that though that's the rumor coming out right now people uh <laughs> i i don't know i don't know why uh, that people just know that is the rumor coming out we'll see how how much um legitimacy this rumor has right now but we'll definitely see how that one goes people tell me what you think about this people this has been really really a good one as i say people please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe people please subscribe help me or join me on that route to seven thousand subscribers i really really appreciate it guys this has been really a good one hopefully guys get some understanding from this um the quote the performances people not good enough these this is not the first we're seeing this type of performance we have been seeing these type of performances for years despite us getting one and two results but we're seeing we have seen the same performance we have seen the same performance and people are gonna say wait until we get better players no let's so basically if a lot of people are saying the UK players are not good enough, which means basically you're saying that Nikhil Antonio is not good, Kemar Roof is not good, Bob Reed is not good, Ravel Marsin is not good. That's what you're saying. If you're saying that the UK players are just not good, that means they are saying all of those players are just not good. So stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense. These guys are top, top quality players. Top quality players playing right across the world. Playing right across the world. Playing in Europe. There's no way these players are not good. There's no way these players are not good. So, people, smash the like button, subscribe, Military Guna TV, and I am out.